Okay, so if you're buying a new whirler, what you want to look for is that the whirler actually rotates on center line every time you change a helix angle. When you change to a new size of screw or a different pitch, uh, you always have to change the helix angle and offsetting center line takes a lot of time. It's a real pain in the ass. Here's the WTO whirler. Um, I got the little yellow box behind it to show that that would be the center line of the whirler in the machine. Uh, it would actually be tipped horizontally, but this is a good visual. Your cutting surface will be on this side of the ring all the time, and the, the material would pass through the very center um, of the whirler, and then it would cut right here. So you want the whirler to be on center. Now you can see when I rotate the center or the whirler, that center line stays the exact same, no matter what angle it is. So let's say you run some four and a half millimeter screws, you have a really high angle, then you want to run some seven and a half millimeter ones, you have to change the angle to here, you never have to change the center line. So it's really handy. If you go to a star whirler, and you guys know I love star, it's my favorite company, but I don't like their whirler. You see a star whirler, when you change the angle, that center line is actually changing. So every time you change sizes, every time you change to a different style of screw or tap or whatever you're whirling, you end up having to adjust the center line. And really it's just, you're just taking a wild guess. You offset a 10 thousandths, you cut apart, you see if the profile's right. You can almost never get the profile to be exactly perfect because you don't know if you're 5 thousandths off center, if you're 10 thousandths off center, real pain in the ass. So if you're buying a new whirler, Make sure it pivots on center line.